Thanks, Anna. Fox News alert. Four Marines shot dead in this morning. Officials identifying 24-year-old Muhammad Youssef Abdulaziz as the attacker who opened fire on two military facilities. He was born in Kuwait, was a naturalized U.S. citizen. So what else do we know about him and his possible motive? Helping us sort it out is the president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy and author of A Battle for the Soul of Islam, Dr. Zudi Jasser. Good morning to you. Joining us this morning, we appreciate you helping us uh, try to dive a little bit deeper. Uh, what is your sense uh, about what we should have been doing differently to try and stop some, some hateful crime like this? Well, Ed, you know, on our biggest Islamic holiday today, uh, it's a solemn occasion to see my brothers and sisters in the Marines uh, uh, horrifically attacked by this uh, terrorist. You know, this is not just terrorism, this is a war. And, you know, you look at this and enough is enough already. When is America going to realize, and our government especially, that we can't predict this? Yes, certainly his blog was, uh, I think, supremacist, uh, but there was nothing violent. So if they're going to use the litmus test of violence to predict when this is going to happen, we are going to lose. We are going to have to begin to have an ideological filter where we as American security begin to look at those who have a supremacist Islamic mindset. It's not just about the organized top down ISIS, but a bottom-up ideology that believes in the supremacism of the... His blog talked about the establishment of Islam. You know, and Americans get this. We fought against theocracy in our American Revolution. It's time to enable Muslims who are fighting against theocracy. This type of radical became radical because he hated America, he hates our military, and he wanted to establish the Islamic Doctor, State. Doctor, you make an important point. Let's look at that blog because he didn't directly say that he was going to go forward with violence. He said troubling things such as, brothers and sisters, don't be fooled by your desires. This life is short and bitter, and the opportunity to submit to Allah may pass pass you by. Uh, his senior yearbook, meanwhile, uh, also went into uh, some of this saying, my name causes national security alerts. What does yours do? Almost boasting about the fact that he was setting off national security alerts, but again, did not uh, say or suggest that he was going to move forward with a, a tragic violence like this. Is the, uh, does the FBI have its hands tied right now because of the fact um, that they have a higher standard of actually uh, going forward with surveillance? Absolutely. Our, our hands are tied because they can't monitor. The, I mean, remember in the Cold War, we even had immigration filters about communist allegiance to communist parties. Today, we can't even ask about Islamist allegiance when, in fact, in Muslim-majority countries, you have large swaths of populations fighting against Islamist movements. They lost the elections in Tunisia. The Brotherhood was ousted because they, in Muslim-majority countries, understand the threat of political Islam because they live it. But in America, we tie our hands. These individuals mock our, our victimization mantra and hyper-victimization of Muslims. In the meantime, we, we surrender to political correctness, and we can't empower Muslim reformists, who are the only ones, Ed, that could have begun to push identity towards America rather than identity for these global movements that want to strike and will continue to strike until we have a strategy for an American political movement against political Islam. Doctor, last question. Given your vast background, uh, what is your sense uh, of the likelihood that this was at least ISIS-inspired, if not a direct connection? Uh, and what is your message to moderate Muslims? What do they need to do? What do they need to say at a time like this to stop this senseless violence? Well, remember what ISIS represents. It represents an ideology that believes somewhere, somehow, everywhere it'll establish the Islamic State or Sharia or Islamic law. This is definitely part of that social global movement. Muslims today, as we celebrate our holiest day after Ramadan, I hope, after a month of atonement, can sit down and say that it is time, enough is enough, we need to have a strategy to tell our youth that we love America, we would die for America, and we will not die for political Islam and these movements that hate America and hate freedom, because that's the only solution to defeat the viral ideology that infuses people like Abdulaziz. Enough is enough. Some strong words this morning from Dr. Uh, Zudi Jasser. We really appreciate your insight uh, and analysis this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ed.